Welcome everybody back to the Nicolera Show. And at Holos, you are you all are focused on building a certain type of housing. Tell tell us a little bit about that at a high level. So our previous work included a lot of permanent supportive housing. That means housing for the homeless. But in that reflectionary period of time, we came back and we said, are we really helping folks? So while we're able to take someone who was previously living on the streets and give them beautiful housing, give them supportive services, are they able to be economically mobile? Are they able to move on? And what we found out was the answer to that was no. And it was primarily due to economic reasons. So for instance, most of these individuals will pay their rent through project-based vouchers. That means section eight that we secure for the building. And if an individual now decides to get a job, now that additional revenue kicks them out of section eight, but it's not enough to pay market rate rent. So therefore, what do you do? You stay put. And we've ended up with this model that inadvertently has created a welfare state. And I know folks are very uncomfortable with that word, but that is the truth. So what we really need is to create a continuum that provides stepping stones towards economic mobility. And at that same time, create a safety net for people coming down, right? So an individual could have fallen into hard times, lose their job. And in that process, maybe they start using drugs, you know, because they're depressed. And then what do we do with those folks? They end up in the streets because we don't have a place to put them. So we need those models, those stepping stones in buildings, but we don't have the financial tools. The tax credit program, for instance, doesn't have a model like that. So we've created something that's very concentrated, but it's not mixed. And that's the place that we are today is in the process of creating that economic mobility model. That's what the, the 